Welcome to the channel. We're just a couple of empty nesters from Tennessee. Well, hey guys. I didn't know you all were hanging out in here. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. Are you sleeping? You're so cute. A little bit. Good morning. It is Labor Day. I'm sitting here working on a video, the next one, but Katie and Cody are on their way. We're gonna do something today. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we're gonna get to see our grandson and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So maybe we go get a donut, maybe we go get lunch. I don't really know. We've kind of left it up to our daughter to do whatever they want to do and, and we'll tag along. So we're glad to have them in town. That's really all I know. <laughs> so I'll give you little snippets if I can. <laughs> so we took the grandson to get donuts and well, we kind of enjoyed it too. And then we took him to the bookstore because why? Because he loves books and they have all kinds of kids toys and entertainment for children and adults alike. My daughter and I felt a calling to go to the home goods store. It's been a while since I've been out shopping and I thoroughly enjoyed seeing all the pretty home items and the fall items that were out. It made me realize I need to get out and shop more often. George would probably argue with that. <laughs> I have always loved decorative towels. And if you've been in my family, you know that because you always get towels for Christmas. I've been trying to hold back, but there's just something about towels. So I'm in the towel section. <laughs> I thought these pillows were really cute. And there's just something about baskets that I love. I don't think I could have too many. So naturally I found my way to the basket aisle. And y'all, this book fell over right as I walked past it. It scared me. It was kind of weird. <laughs> I found some cute pictures of chihuahuas. Gotta love that little Maddie girl. I also have a passion for scented soaps. And the girls in the family will tell you they expect it every Christmas, but it smells so good. We also went to a little place called the goat to eat lunch and we had a fabulous time. They have a really good menu and it's always a fun place to talk. And it just wouldn't be right for the grandson to visit and us not take him to get ice cream. So yep, we all indulged and had a great time. Well, aren't you just a sweet little girl? Are you wanting a tummy rub? Oh, a sweet girl. You a good bed buddy. You a good bed buddy. Yes, you are. You a good bed buddy. Are you ready to get up? You ready to get up and start your day? A sweet girl. Mama's bed buddy. Mama's bed buddy. Wake up. We gotta go outside. Wanna go pee pee? <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday, September 9th. <laughs> the month has changed. It's moving on. It's not stopping for anybody. And I don't think I've ever done this angle before. I really have enjoyed this office setup and I never realized, I guess, when I set it up that I would be doing videos <laughs> from different angles, but it, it works. And I'm very blessed to have this square space to hang out in and share with you <laughs> to start up these videos. 
So, yeah, September 9th. It's been a week. My goodness, it has been a week. Let's see, family was here on Labor Day. That was Monday. We had a great day with them, did some shopping. Um, Tuesday, Boy Tuesday was big because I wasn't at work for part of Friday. I think mom had a doctor's appointment for her eye injections. And so when I came in Tuesday, I had to do part of Friday's work, Monday's work since we were off for the holiday and had to jump right into payroll. So payroll was already delayed because I had to do part of Friday and Monday. And it, we have four plants in four different cities. I do four payrolls, yeah. Our office was 90 degrees and very, very hot. It, it started out at 85, <laughs> a heat wave, right when we came in the building and I knew it was gonna be a very difficult day. I put a fan right like in my face and that is the only way I was able to get through. I had a coworker that just really struggled with it, you know, was not able to work the next day. But I'm telling you, it was hot. And when it reached 90, I left. I still had two payrolls to do. So I went in really early on Wednesday and had to try to finish those payrolls. Mom had a doctor's appointment, another one, a different doctor. It was a test, you know, so I had, I had to do that. So Thursday morning, I went in really early. So I've had really early mornings this week um, to try and catch up. I want to keep my job, y'all. <laughs> so I've been trying to, you know, just catch up. And it just seems like every odd ball has been thrown my way. Payroll got done. Mom got to her doctor's appointments. Uh, at night, I feverishly worked on the, the video edits actually got a couple of blog posts done. So I'm amazed at what all we've been able to do with all that's been going on. There's uh, a couple things I didn't mention though. We took my car in for just an oil change. You know, it was due, it was actually a little bit overdue. We decided we better go and do that. When I drove it home, I thought it acted a little weird but I decided that I would drive it to work the next day and just make sure it wasn't me imagining things. Because you know how it is when you're a woman and you tell a man that you have car problems, a man will operate it and they can't tell that it's doing anything. Are you familiar with that scenario? So it's like, I gotta be sure because, you know, I don't want that to happen. I shouldn't have driven it to work. I had a really hard drive in. I'm talking the car was like, bucking, you know, when it would stop. Long story short, <laughs> uh, and almost a haul in by a tow truck, but we figured it out. Um, I did break down. It was the day George had forgotten his phone. Yes, we were supposed to meet at the auto shop where I was gonna drop it off. Luckily, we had that set up to meet there. And I called there and let them know to look for a man who is in a Honda looking for his wife. <laughs> Thank goodness for that man at Christian Brothers Autos who uh, went out and told my husband I was broken down. George came back to get me. He decided to try to take it a mile and a half. I had almost made it a mile and a half to the auto shop he decided that he would try to take it in. So it, you know, bucked and jerked and whatever, but he got it there. So the car is in the shop. George has been nice to let me have his car and I've been driving, or he's been driving the Flintstone Mobile, which is an, a very old RAV4. <laughs> Toyotas and Hondas never die, right? <laughs> I didn't really mean to spend so long talking about the week, but just let me tell you, it's been a week. So today is a busy day also. Um, George is having to work this morning. His company is doing inventory. He's a purchasing manager uh, where he works. And so he's having to do that today. Um, Maddie is having a trim. I hope uh, I, this, it's her first one. Um, it's mainly grooming. I don't really think she's going to need a lot of trims. Her hair does not grow very fast. She just doesn't need a trim very often, but I do want someone else to groom her, to give her a bath, to do her ears and trim the hair around her, 
her feet and her paws. You know, just give her a little bit of attention here and there, maybe once a quarter, because um, I can certainly give her baths here. Whew, I am out of breath. I've been going at it since almost five o'clock this morning. I mean, who gets up before five on their day off? But when George had to go to work, Maddie was barking because he and Dexter were up. Maddie gets her trim today, but you know what? I'm not sure that they're going to let her be trimmed. I, I wasn't able to tell that she had a rabies shot on her veterinarian uh, billing. It looks like she's had all of her other vaccinations and I don't know why they didn't give her a rabies shot or why they don't have it listed. Clearly, they have all of her other vaccinations. So, Maddie may not be getting her trim today. I'm doing laundry. I've got some, I've got my to-do list. I've been drinking coffee and just trying to take some time to prioritize things that I think I can get done today. I'll be working on that. But we are leaving mid-afternoon for a date night out. Uh, because our daughter gave George a uh, concert tickets. So we're going to go eat at this special pizza place, uh, Emmy Squared, before we go. And then we're going to the Sh Skirmerhorn. I don't know how to say it. Shermerhorn. Skirmerhorn. Schemerhorn. I don't know. <laughs> the last one is not it. That was just for fun. It's kind of a Nashville's orchestra show place. It's got really good acoustics and they do very interesting shows and we're going to go see Bela Fleck and Bela Fleck is uh, is a guy that we've been listening to and, and following for a while since uh, probably we were 30 maybe. Um, George and I used to listen to his music uh, when we came home from work in the early days and uh, this guy's been all over the place and very talented, and so we're very excited to see him again. It's going to be late when we get back. I'm really worried about that, but the video is about to go live every Saturday at 7, so I usually get on and post it to um, my blog, to my Facebook friends, and my Facebook group, and Instagram. You know, it takes about 30 minutes to do that, and then I got to see if they'll take Maddie in today. Then we'll be back to do our day here, and then our night out on the town, so stick around. There's more to come. Okay, um, I wanted to show you guys some things that I bought when we went shopping on Labor Day. And the thing I'm most excited for is my 2024 planner. Why is it that my hair, when I let it dry by itself, this one curls in on this side and it curls out on that side. I guess it's just, it just builds character, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm very excited about this planner. It's very different, you know? I just mainly need to be able to keep up with our appointments. I also keep up with my hours at work because I have to miss a lot of work to take care of mom. And I always want to make sure that I'm getting in all of my hours that I need to be getting in. And if I end up working extra over 40, I just use those toward my bucket hours as I call it. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm fair. This is wonderful because it's got like habit trackers and it's got priorities and next week and all of that. I don't even know if I'll use that part. Very nice to stick in your purse. I really like them about this size, you know, about the size of your head so that you can put it in your purse because I have to have it with me at all times. Finally ordered a picture of Maddie. And so I bought a picture frame at Ross's for only $3.99, and I can have a picture of Maddie in my office. Found some Starbucks, Pike Place, and Columbia. Um, we really enjoy Starbucks coffee here at home, and these were $6.99. It's a lot more than that in the stores now. If you remember the last video not too long ago, I wanted some lemon cream cookies, so I found my little party wafers. <laughs> And these were at Ross's for $2.99. I have uh, organic coconut flour for $2.99. And I'm actually gonna make some cookies. I don't know what it is. I've been a cookie craze. You know, I think it's better to have a cookie after a meal than to have like a piece of pie or something like that. And so I'm finding just a little cookie after a meal 
is just satisfying for me and it will help me get through the day. And so I thought, well, I'll try to make some healthier cookies. So that's my goal. And then I bought a couple of shirts. I have a weakness. Some people have a weakness for shoes. I have a weakness for clothes, <laughs> specifically tops. I'll usually just keep basic pants and jeans. Here is a sweater for fall and winter. I'll probably wear it mostly in fall. I didn't try it on. I hope it works. It feels really good. And then I bought another one, another sweater. These are really lightweight sweaters, so they'll work. But this one I thought was really cute because I'll probably wear it with black pants and then it will bring out the black at the top. But you could wear it with khaki or gray as well. Uh, the brown one was $19.99. Oh, this one was originally $89 and it was $19.99. And the brand is Cyrus. Haven't tried it on either. I hope they fit. That's it for this week's haul. <laughs> you never know. What's gonna happen next week? I really try not to spend money, but George will argue that point, most definitely. Thank goodness they took her shot records. I don't know, she needs to have a record of rabies shots and I don't even think they gave us a tag, so I guess they didn't give it to her. There's been some confusion, so. I uh, will put that on the to-do list. The new lady that is trimming her and grooming her is just so sweet and she was just so thrilled. And she said, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get me a long hair chihuahua. <laughs> she was loving the cuteness. I love it. I'm gonna go home and get some things done before we go out on our night on the town. Oh, and one more thing, I am so thankful that George is letting me drive his car. It's really kind of selfish of me because he has to drive a really long way to his job and he's got the crappy car. But I just wanted to say what a good husband he is because he knew that I do not like riding in that car <laughs> anymore. And he knows that, um, you know, he loves me enough to let me have his nice car just to go a couple of miles. <laughs> so, I love you, George. Thank you so much for leaving me the good car today. That's amazing. so proud of you for doing your first professional trim and see mama came right back to get you your bows are so pretty I think you look really good in peach if I had thought about it longer I would have named her peaches <laughs> she's got some peach in her but we like Maddie all right on to home Oh, did you want to get one of each? We can. We did discuss it. 